Thrush is an overgrowth of yeast. Typically, the baby gets thrush in the birth process. And you'll be able to tell that they have thrush because you'll see the white spots or film on their tongue and inside their cheeks, depending on how bad the thrush is. Typically, I use bayberry tea. And the mother can drink the bayberry tea which then goes through her system and through the breast milk. So that helps to flush it out. But if it's really bad, it becomes uncomfortable. And then the baby's fussy. So what I will do is make up some bayberry tea, put it in a little spritzer bottle. And if the babe, when the baby starts fussing, I spritz it right into their mouth, onto their tongue or cheeks. Bayberry tea is extremely bitter, so they're not going to like it, and it will make them mad. You may only get away with it once or twice, but it clears up thrush really fast. So if the mother is drinking it and it's coming through the breast milk and you spritz a little bit right into their mouth, then that'll clear it up. If you're passing yeast back and forth, yeast lives on sugar. So the mother needs to take a really close look at her diet. Is at least 50% of her diet fresh live fruits and vegetables? How much sugar is she drinking and or eating during the day? How many highly processed foods is she eating? Um, how much refined carbohydrates is she eating? These are all things that could be cut back and or eliminated, get back to the fresh fruits and vegetables, plenty of fresh, clean water to drink, and then you can start bringing the body back into balance. While the baby has active thrush, I would not recommend storing that milk. Yes, you do need to continue nursing. Because if the mother is drinking the bayberry tea and you're using the bayberry tea on the baby, then you're going to flush it out of both of you at the same time. Once the baby's cleared up, that's a pretty good indicator that the mother is also cleared up and then you could go back to storing the milk.